welcome dear students in previous lecture we learn venn diagram universal set subset and we saw practice set 1.3 today's our topic is operations on a set in that we have to learn intersection of the two sets then we have to learn disjoint sets union of two sets and number of elements in a set and the relation between number of elements of intersection of two sets and union of two sets and based upon that word problems are there therefore relation between the number of elements of intersection of two sets and union of two set is important one now we have to start with intersection of two sets dear students see the intersection of sets to understand this we will see one example here suppose i write here set a in curly bracket suppose i write 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here it is set b in that set b the elements are 4 5 6 7 8 now if we observe the elements of both the sets we come to know that here the element 4 which is present in a set a is also present in a set b this 5 is present in a set a as well as it is present in a set b and 6 is present in a set a that also present in a set b that means some elements are present in set a as well as they are present in a set b and if we make the set of such elements which are common in both the sets that means suppose i write here one another set of elements which are present in both the sets now in both the set which elements are present first element is a 4 second is a 5 and the third one is a 6 this another set of elements which are common in both the sets then such type of a set is called as a intersection of a set now if we have to write it symbolically we can write here a and intersection intersection for that purpose we have to use this symbol and here we have to write the name of another set therefore it is a intersection b that means the elements present in this sec, uh, set are present in set a as well as present in a set b in short we can say that the elements present in both the sets that means set of common elements is called as a intersection of the two sets for symbolically we write like this and we can read it as a a intersection b suppose set of intersection we have to write by a rule method then we can write like this we can write a intersection b is the set of x it is the set of x such that x belongs to set a as well as x belongs to set b that means the element of intersection of two set is present belongs to set a as well as belong to set b now if we have to draw the venn diagram for this set 
then we can draw like this here this is a set a in this set a the elements are 1 2 and 3 4 5 6 and what are the elements of set b here we have to write b they are 4 5 6 4 5 6 7 8 now this part this portion is known as a a intersection b that means the set of elements which are common in both the sets then that set is called as a intersection of a two sets suppose we have to write the intersection of a two sets then first of all we have to find out the common elements in both the set and that common elements we have to write it in a curly bracket and that set is known as the intersection of that two given sets i think everyone understood the concept of a intersection of a two set by drawing the venn diagram you understand it very well this portion is present in a set a this portion is present in a set b therefore this is the common part and that common element set of common element is called as a a intersection b while writing the a intersection b by list method we know that x belongs to set a as well as x belongs to set b now based upon this we have to learn some properties of intersection of a sets if we uh, see the first property very easy property it is it is a intersection b equal to b intersection a that means here if we write a intersection b or we can write b intersection a both are same therefore instead of writing a intersection b if we write b intersection a it doesn't make any difference it remains same then second property we have to learn here in that second property if a is a subset of b a is a subset of b then a intersection b equal to a see we can prove this or we can simplify this property like this now see suppose i write here two sets a 1 2 3 4 5 6 and b 4 5 6 here all the elements of set b are present in a set a that means the elements set b is a subset of a that means b is a subset of a then we have to write here a is a subset of b instead of we take b is a subset of a and now we have to write the a intersection b now tell me what are the elements of intersection of these two common elements which are the common elements they are 4 5 and 6 now dear student tell me this a intersection b these are the elements of set b therefore we can say that when b is a subset of a then a intersection b is a b a is a subset of b then a intersection b is a equal to a then the third property is if a intersection b equal to b then b is a subset of a it is similar to the second one now see here question uh, property number four a intersection b is a subset of a a intersection b is a subset of a because the element present in a intersection b are the element of a therefore a intersection b is a subset of a similarly a intersection b is a subset of b that means all the element present in a set a intersection b are present in a b Therefore, A intersection B is a subset of A as well as is a subset of B. Then the property number fifth one is there. A intersection 
a dash a intersection a dash that means intersection of a and complement of a is empty set that means in these two elements no any element is common therefore it is empty set then the sixth property is there a union a intersection a see here a intersection a that means intersection of a and same that element is a uh, a because same elements will be there same suppose we have to find out the intersection of a and empty set that means it is empty set because empty set and any set it does not have any elements therefore they do not have common element therefore a intersection empty set is a empty set intersection of a and a that means intersection of same set is a a these properties are important one now the student we have to learn the another concept which is this joint set now what is this joint set that we have to learn suppose two sets are given set p with elements 1 2 3 4 5 and element uh, set q is there and this set contain 5 6 7 8 now if i have to write the these two set are given and we have to write the intersection of these two sets p intersection q now tell me intersection of these two set means we have to write the common element in both the set now tell me which are the common element in both set there is no any common element in this therefore it is empty set that means if two sets are given and if we try to write the intersection of that two set that will be empty set then these two sets are called as a this join set that means in two sets no any common element is there then that two sets are called as a this join set that means intersection of that two set is a empty set then that type of a set is called as a this join set dear student as we completed intersection of two sets and this join sets now we have to start with union of the sets now union of the set the name itself suggest union that means we have to make the union of the given sets then that sets are called as the union of the given sets let's see one example p is a set of a b c d e and f then q is a another set it is e f g h and i now see here if we have to write the union of these two sets that means we have to write p union q symbolically we have to use this symbol it is for union and just now we learn this symbol p intersection q for intersection we have to use this symbol and for union you we have to remember u now see we have to write the union of set p and q for writing the union of p and q first of all we have to write all the elements of set p now which are they it is a b c d e f after that we have to write the element of q e but we have already written e therefore need not write to again then f is already there then we have to write g h and i these are the elements 
of P union Q, elements of set P and elements of set Q we write together, then this type of a set is called as a union of the sets. As we see, intersection in a list uh, rule method, same way we have to see the rule method for union of a Q. Now P union Q is the set of X such that X belongs to P or X belongs to Q. Now see the only difference between P union Q and P intersection Q is X is a set of X that is X belongs to P and X belongs to Q. Dear student, remember this. Union is a set of X such that P belongs to P or X belongs to Q. That means element of these sets are the elements of P or it may be an element of Q. But in an intersection, X is the ele element of P, belongs to set P, as well as it is X belongs to Q. That means the element of intersection set are present in both the sets. But elements of P union Q may be present in P, may be present in Q or may be present in both. Therefore, when union, you have to remember here or and when intersection, you have to remember the and. This is the difference between the union and the intersection of the two sets. In short, union of the two sets means we have to write all the elements of both the set in a one curly bracket. Then that set is known as a union. If we have to write the intersection, then we have to write the common element of both the sets. That means set of common element is the intersection of two sets and the set of all the elements of both the set, then it is called as a union of the two sets. Suppose we have to show the uni in union of the two set by Venn diagram, then we can show like this. Suppose we have to draw here set P, here it is Q and all the elements of set P are A, this is set P, A, B, C, D, E, F. Here it is set Q. And what are the elements of set Q? They are E, F, G, H and I. Dear student, this is the union of the two sets. And this part, as you know that I have already explained you, this is the intersection of two sets. Got it? Now, we have to learn the properties of union of the sets. Now, see, let A and B be the subset of universal set U. Then, we have to follow these properties. First property, as we learn in the intersection of the two sets, intersection of A union, A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Same way, A union B is equal to B union A. That means if we write here P union Q, we may write Q union P. Both are the same things. Then A is a subset of A union B. We know that all the elements of set A are present in A union B. Therefore A is a subset of B. Same way B is a subset of A union B. Because all the elements of set B are present in A union B. Therefore, A is a subset of A union B and B is a subset of A union B. Then, the third property is there. A subset of B. Then, if A is a subset of B, then the union A union B is equal to B. Because all the elements of this a are present in a B and if we write the union of these two, we have to write the elements of A as well as B. There is no extra element, therefore B 
is the union of A union B. And if B is a subset of A, then A union B is equal to A. That means B is a subset of A. Then very easy it is. If you write the union of B, then it will be a A. And A union A is equal to A. Same elements. Then fifth one. Union of A and its inters union of A and its complement is the universal set and union of A and empty set. A and empty set is equal to A because there are no elements in a set, empty set. If we have to write the union of these two, it will be a set A. These are the properties of union of the sets. Dear student, write down definitions and properties of intersection of two sets, disjoint set and union of the sets in your notebook. Students, now we have to learn number of elements in a set. Suppose I write here set A. 3 These are the, this is a set A. Now, how many elements are present in a set A? Say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In set A, there are 5 elements. And if we have to write it, then we can write here number of set A number of set A is equal to 5. That means how many elements are present in a set A? There are total 5 elements present in a set A. Now suppose this is we can write by using the symbol that is N number of set A. There are 5 elements or there are 5 elements in a set A. Now suppose I write here set B, then it is this is set B. In this set B, how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How can we write it? We can write it like this. N of B is equal to 6. That means number of elements present in a set B are 6. This is the number of elements in a set B. Now see set A, set B. Now just now we learn union of two sets and intersection of two sets. Can anyone of you tell me what are the element of A union B? Now A union B, if we have to write A union B, that means all the elements of both the set. First of all, we have to write the element of set A. It is 3, then it is 6, 9, 12, 15. After that, we have to write the element of set B. It is 6. 6 is already written. Then it is 12. 12 is also there. Then it is 18. 18 is not there, therefore we have to write 18. Then it is 24. Then it is 30. And it is 36. Now count the number of elements in a set A union B. Therefore number of number of A union B is equal to. Now see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That means there are total 9 elements in A union B. Now, dear students, we have to write A intersection B. Now, A intersection B. Intersection B means we have to write common element in both the sets. 
now which are the common element here it is 6 then it is 12 these are the two elements which are common in both the six therefore we can write here 6 and 12 now we got the number of a intersection b here it is number of a union b is equal to 9 and number of a intersection b is equal to 2 now there is a one relation between these sets number of sets now what is that that is number of number of a union b is equal to number of set a plus number of set b minus number of a intersection b this is important formula we have to verify this by using this example now number of a union b before that see number of a how many number of a they are 5 plus number of b are how many there is 6 minus number of a intersection b intersection b is 2 now see here 6 plus 5 it is 11 11 minus 2 it is 9 now see a union b is also 9 therefore we can write 9 9 and 9 therefore we can say that number of a union b is equal to number of a plus number of b minus number of a intersection b this is important relation between the number of union of two sets and intersection of the two sets by using this we have to solve the word problem based upon the sets now again remember this number of a union b is equal to number of a plus number of b minus number of a intersection b yes student take one another example and try to verify this formula and by heart this formula dear students till now we learn intersection of two sets union of the two sets uh, disjoint sets and the relation between the number of elements in a set write down all the definitions and all the properties in your notebook in next lecture we will learn the question based upon this thank you